We've been busy here at Cyboss TV. There's been no fewer than 78 guests who've been interviewed by our presenters on set here at London Excel. Big brains talking about the big themes of Cyboss. And there's been no shortages of VIPs here either. And that includes my next guest. Joining me is the London Deputy Mayor for Business, Rajesh Agarwal. Thank you so much for joining me today, Rajesh. So obviously this is the very first Cyboss here in London at all. So how significant is this, especially at this time of political turmoil? Well, it's very significant. First of all, welcome to London. I'm very excited to have Cyboss here. In first time in London, actually, in its 41 years of history, and it can only be in London that is the biggest ever. Uh, we have had 11 and a half thousand uh, delegates, uh, most of them from around the world, and that is London's biggest strength. People from around the world. Uh, travel to London, people from around the world come to London, make the city uh, their home. Uh, so it's hugely important uh, to have Cyboss here. Uh, just this week, uh, the figures were released. Uh, London is the second largest fintech investment destination, only to San Francisco. Uh, so it's amazing to have Cyboss here. Welcome. And obviously, as Deputy Mayor for Business, I mean, you must be excited about all the things that you're seeing going on. So what's your message about London to the people who've come for this conference this week? Well, as well as being the Deputy Mayor of the greatest city in the world, I'm also a fintech entrepreneur myself. Uh, so this is like me, in a, like, like, like a kid in a candy shop. Uh, it's fantastic to see all these businesses here. And my message to them uh, is that London is open. London is uh, one of those thriving cities. Huge amount of innovation uh, is happening in London. Uh, and uh, despite the political uh, turmoil that's going on with Brexit, I'm very confident that London will continue uh, to be the thriving city, uh, the center of innovation, a big uh, global trading city, outward looking cosmopolitan, multicultural city. Now the big theme here this week has actually been thriving in a hyper-connected world. You know, talking about London wanting to be all of these great things and it already is on its way. Is there anything else that you think that London can do to make sure that it's at the forefront of hyper-connected activity? Well, London has always been hyper-connected. Back in the day, even in sort of a couple of hundred years ago, uh, London was the global trading uh, uh, capital uh, of, of the world, really. And uh, that's why it continues to remain connected um, in terms of data, in terms of internet connectivity, in terms of transport connectivity. It continues uh, to, to remain uh, thriving. I always say that London is like New York, Washington DC and San Francisco in one place. New York as in is the financial capital of the world. Washington DC because it's like the uh, like the seat of the government and the regulators are all here and uh, Silicon Valley, San Francisco because it attracts talented people from around the world. So London is connected. Almost 40% of London's population was actually born outside of the UK. And these people are truly the living bridge. So it's not just the technological connection, but it's the people to people connection which London is amazing at. And that's obviously really important as we can go forward. You're, talking about, you're saying it's the heart of global banking and obviously it wants to remain the heart of global banking. You're talking about all those places, but what do you think would, would make it stand out the most? Well, I think it's uh, connectivity at its best. But look, I mean, uh, we continue to remain a global uh, city. Uh, London is home to more banks than any other city in the world, more insurance companies than any other city in the world, more uh, uh, international law firms than any other city in the world. In fact, there are more American banks in London than in New York. Uh, so we, we, we continue to do that. My own background is I come from a foreign exchange trading background and of three trillion dollars that are traded in the FX world every day, half of it roughly is just from this city uh, in London. So we continue to be that uh, city uh, that is open to business from around the world. And now we are going through this immense technological revolution. Um, and just adding on to our strengths, uh, we continue to remain open uh, and uh, the capital city of innovation. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Rajesh. It was a really interesting to hear about the concept for London and we're looking forward to the hyper-connected future. Thank you. Thank you.